Hey brothers and sisters, and this is the World News Update. U.S. triggers snapback mechanism to reimpose sanctions on Iran. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Kelly Kraft formally requested that U.N. reimpose sanctions on Iran as part of the snapback mechanism of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. The decision to invoke the snapback mechanism is following the Security Council's rejection of an American proposal to extend the arms embargo on Iran, which is set to expire on October 18th. China moves to block U.S. triggering of snapback UNSC sanctions on Iran. China has moved to block the United States from triggering a mechanism that would reimpose United Nations Security Council sanctions on Tehran, a move that would effectively put an end to the Iran deal to curb the country's nuclear power. The U.S. demand has no legal ground and common sense. It is nothing but a political show staged by the U.S. It receives no support of the Security Council members and no acknowledgement of the international community, the Chinese mission to the U.N. said in a statement it posted on Twitter. Two tropical depressions may strike the U.S. at the same time, first time since Great Depression. According to the latest report from the Weather Channel, Tropical Depression 13 will affect the Leland Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands as a tropical storm producing rain and gusty winds by this weekend. But wait, there's more. The system may then head toward Florida and the Gulf of Mexico early next week, possibly as a hurricane. However, it's still uncertain at this time. And then there is Tropical Depression 14 that has formed in the Caribbean Sea and expected to first impact parts of Central Central America and Mexico as a tropical storm or hurricane before emerging into the western Gulf of Mexico. After night of rockets and Gaza strikes, Hamas says Israel will pay the price. The Hamas terror group warned on Friday that Israel will pay the price for its actions against the Gaza Strip after a night that saw 12 rockets fired toward Israel and three rounds of reprisal airstrikes by Israeli warplanes. After escalation, Gantz warns Gaza terror groups IDF will deliver a harsh blow. The IDF is ready. It defends. It will continue to defend the residents of the South and will attack anyone who attacks us and deliver a very harsh blow, Gantz said after a meeting with senior IDF officers. Satellite photos appear to show Chinese submarine using underground base. The satellite image from American imaging company Planet Labs, first posted on the social media accounts of Radio Free Asia, shows what appears to be a Type 093 nuclear-powered attack submarine entering a tunnel to an underground berth on Yulin Naval Base. California warns violators of indoor church services may be arrested. The California city prosecutor has just threatened to press criminal charges against the pastor and congregation of Harvest Rock Church in Pasadena. The new warning comes as the Church of Harvest Rock has continued to hold indoor worship service in direct violation of Governor Gavin Newsom's coronavirus orders. The report states that the congregation was also observed not wearing masks and not complying with social distancing rules as well. All of these are violations of the law, Prosecutor Mike Dowd wrote in a threatening letter to the church. 2,700 evangelicals urge Christians to stop politicizing pandemic and take coronavirus vaccine. More than 2,700 high-profile evangelicals have signed onto a statement build a Christian statement on science for pandemic times, warning against the politicization of new coronavirus and actually urges Christians to take appropriate action against it, which includes taking a vaccine when it is available. And that's the World News Update for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and God bless. Thank you.